So I'm out here at Craigtown Road in uh, no, Calhoun, Georgia, on the very northern edge of Calhoun, Georgia to be exact, kind of on the edge of the sea limits. Anyways, I've got a rather rare cross to show you here. we got two gauge signals here as you can see, but first off, we have this first signal here has a Wabco base, a safe train gate mechanism, which is likely a safe train S60 based off of the fact that Street View is from really old and it shows a West Colin Hayes gate mechanism here. And then we've got the emergency information. As you can see, the dot number is three four. As you can see, the as you can see, the dot number is three four zero five two zero W. Mile post is O W A eight two point nine five. Well, technically zero W A eight two point nine five. And the lights are USNS twelve by twenty inch lights with USNS with. As you can see right there, it says US and Nestle. So let's go on Hayes second generation LEDs. There's a look at the back of one of the lights. They're on a Wabco junction box. Now, one of the two really rare things about this crossing is this bell right up here, which is a Wabco mechanical bell. It's like the third one I've ever seen in person. It's like the closest one serves to my house. It's on a main, and it's on a main line as well. So hopefully it still works because they have a tendency to die due to the hammer breaking, due to a defect in the hammer. I'm gonna walk around over here so you can see the front side of the bell. They also have a really interesting sound. The gate lights here, this is an older fiberglass gate arm. It has Rico gate lights. And over here is the second signal. It's similar to the first, it has a Wabco base. It still has a West Colonies gate mechanism, which both these gate mechanism, well, both West Colonies gate mechanisms probably replaced some uh, uh, US and S model 75 gate mechanism back in the day. Then we've got the emergency information right up there. Then we've got more US and S 12 by 20 inch lights with West Colonies second generation LEDs on a Wabco junction box. There's a look at one of the LEDs. And there's a look at the back one of the light show and it says US and S. Some of these are also branded with Wabco on the tops of the right above where it says US and S, it's some of them say Wabco up there. Interestingly enough. But not on this crossing though. But just kinda in general. But then the mechanical bell, which I'm gonna show you, because this signal has another mechanical bell, that's a really cool one, is a US and S mechanical bell. Which is also rare. It's, this one's pretty much just a Martin Industries mechan though it's pretty much just a Martin Industries mechanical bell with a different branding on the back. There's a look at the front of the bell. Right there, the gate this is the newer aluminum gate arm with the newer striping. It's got Rico gate lights as well. And I'm gonna sit back over here. And this is on the CSX WNA subdivision between Chattanooga, Tennessee and Atlanta, Georgia. That way's looking north towards Chattanooga, Tennessee. And that way's looking south towards Atlanta, Georgia. Right there is the relay case. I just for you guys forgot that. So yeah. This is the Craigtown Road Railroad Crossing in Calhoun, Georgia. Over and out.